Hey what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make this awesome 6x6 beach water house. This thing is pretty cool. Here it is from all of the angles that you might possibly want to have a look at it from. Despite the fact that this is only a 6x6 house, it is looking pretty good from all of the angles. And on top of that, not only is it a good looking house, but it's incredibly functional. If we take a look inside the house, if we activate this very complicated redstone door, you'll see that on the inside of the house we have enough room for a bed, we have three organized chests, we even have storage we have a crafting table we have a furnace hidden away up at the top of the house and if you do want to cheat if you don't just want to have a six by six house which of course means the house is six blocks long six blocks wide and six blocks high well if you do want to cheat a little bit you can even burrow underneath the house and you can have a hidden away enchantment library which absolutely adds a lot of functionality to the house and it does kind of get around some of those six by six rules but it's kind of up to you whether you want to add that or not that will absolutely be an option in the tutorial whether you choose that or not hopefully you guys enjoy this build if you do please do remember to hit that like button i'd really appreciate it if you like the video please do remember to like it it helps me out loads and on top of that if you enjoy the content consider subscribing to the channel and comment down below and let me know what you want to see next i'd be very very interested do you want to see more builds like this do you want some bigger smaller you guys let me know down there in the comments without any further ado let me show you how to make this it is incredibly easy and by the way throughout the tutorial guys i might refer to it as a five by five house and that's because i'm just a little bit stupid it's actually a six by six by six so if you want to make it here's what you'll need grab yourself some virtual planks some birchwood stairs some birchwood fence some iron trap doors some white stained glass pane red wool white wool iron doors and some stone pressure plates absolutely everything else in my inventory is for indoor decoration so you don't really need that stuff but you may want to grab it anyway now once you have all of the things at least in the hot bar and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'm going to be making mine on this desert island. Well, you already know that this house is a 5x5 five five build, so you know the dimensions. We're going to begin on the front right hand side of the build, and we're going to start off with a row of three birchwood planks coming up from the ground. One, two, and three. We're going to place ourselves a white wool on top of that birch wood. And what we're going to do is we're going to take every single one of those blocks and extend them backwards by four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And even the white wool, guys, even the white wool. One, two, three, four. Like that. What we're then going to do is we're going to place a row of glass directly to the left of the front of what we've just made. Like that. We're going to then place a row of birchwood planks directly to the left of what we've just made. And on top of the birchwood planks, we're actually going to place a white wool. And to the right of it, a red wool, like this. We are, behind that row of birchwood, going to place an additional row of birchwood planks. We are then going to take the top birchwood plank and we're going to place a birchwood plank to the left of it. We're also going to place an upside down birchwood stairs underneath it, with a door underneath that. You may even want to like chuck a pressure plate uh, in front of the door just because we'll be doing that later. You want to place an upside down birchwood stairs to the left of the already pre-existing upside down birchwood stair. We are, we are going to place iron trap doors above the door and to the left of the door. Placing a birchwood fence underneath the left hand trapdoor and underneath that we actually want to place an upside down Birchwood stairs and that particular stair is facing left like that We then want to take that upside down stair and extend it backwards by four one two three and four Just like that guys easy as that we want to place a birchwood plank on top of that last stair we want to go right of that by two with the white glass, one, two. We then want to place ourselves a virtual plank to the right of that. We then want to place virtual planks on top of the virtual plank and the two glass, like this. There we go. And what we then want to do 
is we want to place on top of all of this, we want to place upside down birch wood stairs. So looking exactly like that, we want to have something which should look like this. And it gives the house a really cool, unique looking shape in doing this. Now, where we have the walls, we want to go left of this white wall. We want to go left by one with the red, then one with the white. We want to take the very first white wall that we placed and bottom right diagonally from it we want to place a red so we want to have a pattern like this we want to take every single wall every single one of them guys that is every single one we want to take each one of them and we want to extend them out of the front of the house by one row like that and we want to then extend every single one of those walls out of the the back of the house we actually want to extend them towards the back of the house not out of the back of the house guys we want to extend them each towards the back of the house until they each line up with the very back of the house like this and then we're going to fill in the entire back of the build using birch wood planks like this that's perfect and just to have a look at this that is the house pretty much complete that is the outside complete it looks really good and now, what we're going to do is we're just going to enter the house, butching, and we can mess around with it a little bit. So, on the inside of the house, uh, it's kind of up to you what you want to do here. So, why don't I give you a couple of ideas for what you might want to do for the inside of the house. So, for the inside of the house, I'm going to position a bed right here. It's just inside the house to the right. It's going to come long ways. I want to have three different chests. I want to have two regular chests in the floor next to the bed and a trap chest in the middle. I also want to chuck item frames above the chest. This lets me know what's in those chests because, of course, it's very, very cramped in here. And I'm even going to add a little bit of light. I'm going to chuck a torch just behind the door to the right of it. And we're just going to customize the light with, like, maybe a birch wood fence inside the light as well. It looks quite good that way. We also want to have a ledge in this house, which is made of birch wood slab, very near the top of the house, like this. And the purpose of this ledge is that we can now use our ladders, and we can have a row of ladders, which, I mean, we could even lower the ledge, actually, uh, because, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe to here. If you want, you can lower the ledge. Um... Um, actually, yeah, yeah, you can. You can lower the ledge um, to about there if you wanted to. And on top of this ledge, I'm going to put something maybe like a crafting table and a furnace. Just so that we'll have access to those two things. And, um, well, do you need any other reason so that we have access to those things? What I'm also going to do is I'm going to give you guys the option. If you want to dig underneath the house, right? If you want to dig underneath the house, I'd highly suggest the block just behind the window at the front of the house. So I'm going to knock this out, and I'm going to knock downwards. I'm going to knock down, say, like one, and then I'm, I'm actually underwater here with this particular build. Because this, is, this can either be built on a beach, or it can be built underwater, or it can be built absolutely wherever. Now that we're underwater, which is fine, I'm going to make a chamber. I'm going to use glass, and I'm just going to make like a chamber underneath the house. This is also going to be, uh, uh, it's actually not going to be 6x6, six six, I don't think. It's going to be like a 5x5 like a five five area underneath the house. You could make it as big as the house if you wanted, however. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a small glass chamber underneath the house. It can be as, as big or as small as you want. This is just uh, freestyling a little bit, guys. It's completely up to you whether you want to do this or not. And I'm going to give it a floor as well. I'll use some virtual planks for the floor like this and I might even make it so that the area the block that I actually climbed down um, I'm going to make it so that because I don't think we can place ladders can we on glass even if we crouch we can't place ladders on glass so I'll tell you what we'll make those two blocks we'll make them birch wood planks just so that we're actually able to climb up and out actually we'll make those birch wood planks like this and uh, what we're now going to do is we're just going to sponge the area just because we are underwater, unfortunately. You know, it's it, it's a shame that we're, that we're kind of underwater, but it doesn't matter. A, a single sponge will actually take care of that. Now we can see what we're doing. We can uh, add some ladders up here so we can actually climb up and out of the uh, hole that we've dug ourselves if we want to. And down here it could simply be a storage area if you want. 
or you could even have like a small enchanting area. Now, I do wish that I made this room bigger, but this is just an example of what you might want to do. This, this room can be much, much bigger than what I've just made. It can be much, much smaller if you wanted to. Um, the, the idea is that you can indeed use the underground part of this house to actually, um, actually, you know, utilize it. You can actually use it for something. It's not just a complete waste of space, guys. So do utilize all of the space that you might possibly uh, want in a survival house. Uh, it's not meant to be the biggest house in the world, obviously, you guys know that, it's not meant to be absolutely huge, it is, of course, a 6x6 six six house, it's not, it's not meant to be the biggest in the world, but I'm also going to place a pressure plate so that we are allowed to now get out of the house, and that, that is that, guys, I mean, that's the house fully functional at that, and you can even see the little compartment that we have hidden underneath the house, that's actually kind of cool, it's definitely a little bit of an easter egg for those of you that might have little friends out there, that uh, are very, very curious about the houses you built, and they might even uh, find that. But yeah, this is house functional, guys. We can walk in and out. We can climb the ladder. We have the crafting table. We have the furnace. We can even work our way underneath the house, and we have an enchanting table and all sorts of stuff that we might possibly want out of this very small six by six house. And uh, there we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the house. I don't know what else to tell you. That is absolutely everything made. If you want to customize the area outside, maybe you want to take inspiration from the very first house that I showed you right at the start of this video, it's up to you whether you guys want to do that or not. If you do enjoy the house, please do like the video. I'd really, really appreciate it. I honestly would. If you like the video, it helps me out loads. Consider subscribing to the channel if you like the content. If you like the content, hit subscribe, click the little bell, and make sure that you do click that little bell, because that makes sure that you got all my stuff sent directly to your sub bar. It's very, very important stuff, guys, otherwise it doesn't tend to happen. On top of those things, if you want to see something specific, if you want to see some more 5x5, 6x6, 4x4, whatever sized houses, let me know down there in the comments, and check out the card system and the description below for more of my stuff in general. You'll find loads of playlists down there. Uh, I'm sure that you guys would love it. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.